is a talented storyteller who's directed, produced, and written some of Hollywood's most iconic films. Of course, we're talking about the one and the only Spike, Spike Lee. Lee. Spike's newest film is called Black Klansman. It's about an African-American detective named Ron Stallworth who goes undercover to infiltrate the Ku Klux Klan. Ron, played by John David Washington, pretends to be a potential recruit. And recently, we sat down with Spike and JD, he's called, to talk about this real life story. It's incredible. How do you propose to make this investigation? Well, I've established contact and created some familiarity with the Klansmen over the phone. I'll continue in that role, but I'll need another officer, surprise, surprise, a white officer to play me when they meet face to face. That's my point exactly. Chief, Black Ron Stallworth over the phone, quite Ron Stallworth face to face, so there becomes a combined Ron Stallworth. Can you do that? I believe we can with the right white man. We can do anything. <laughs> That's all you need is the right white man. I'll do it. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. You. Um, so why did you? Having us. Yes, well, I've you. seen this and it's quite a powerful mm -hmm. film. I, you know, I didn't know at the time that it was a true story. Yes, Jordan Peele, mm -hmm. Get Out fame. Shout out to my brother. Yes. He called me out of the blue and said, "Spike had this project," and I yeah. said, "What is?" He said, "Really, six words." Black man infiltrates KKK. That's <laughs> insane. You yeah. couldn't make that no, up. No, you couldn't. That's high. That's more, you can't get more high Hollywood concept than that. Yeah. yeah but I yeah. said, is it true? He said, yes. Because when he said automatic, I automatically thought of the David, Ch the famous David Chappelle skit. Oh, yeah. But he said, it's true. And uh, here we are. Wow. And you were looking for your leading man. And I wasn't how, looking. I knew. You knew. How did you know? Yeah, did how? you know each other before? Well, I, as I tell him, get I knew him before he was born. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, we it's not a point. secret. Yeah. The great, my brother Denzel Washington is his father, uh -huh. and he was in his first film with she, uh, Malcolm Ooh, X. So he was, you, he was six years old. So anytime I read a script, automatically I think, of who's gonna play this part? Yeah. And so my brother here, he didn't have to audition. He had to read. I just said he didn't have to. Did, no. What? Well, you you must have been terrified then. That that's a lot of responsibility. Well, I, got a, I got a text from him. I was on location in Cincinnati. I got a text from him like, "Yo, this Spike called me," and you know, like, I've never gotten a text from Spike Lee before. So yeah. I'm like, "This is a prank," but it's worth investigating. Yeah. I called him, <laughs> and I kind of got the same. Uh, I guess I got the same pitch. Black black man infiltrates the Ku Klux Klan. I'm like, "All right, so this has been done before." This yeah. is like the whole this, the white black white supremacist. But uh, he sent me the book. I've read the book. The next day, I call him back like, "This is crazy. This really happened." I'm like, "Yeah, see you this summer." Bet. Click. And that was That's it? So <laughs> that was it. That was it. How much direction did, was Spike giving you on the set? What was it like? It was one of the most liberating experiences as an artist I've ever had. He, he trusted me with the material. And so wow. with that, I mean, there was really no notes. I mean, the, some technical stuff, blocking, there was a rehearsal process. Spike is a big proponent of process yeah. and not skipping any steps. And I really appreciated that. And it was beneficial to the film and all the performances that you saw as yeah. a collective. Wow. You know, and, uh, and it was just a very natural, organic flow and rhythm of, uh, of uh, filmmaking. It's nice if you can have the time for that, because then when, they, when he says action, you know what works and what hasn't well, worked. That's what in the, yeah. It's like, right. hurry well, up and wait. So it's getting it. raves. Uh, they talk about the how long the standing ovation was at Cannes, which mm. was crazy. When you put a movie like this out into the universe, Spike, are you on pins and needles or what, you know, you know it's gotten some love already. Well, here's the thing. I've been doing this for 30 years and uh, you never know. I mean, yeah. the, the, here's the, I like to say this, the film hasn't opened up yet. Because people have loved, have seen it and mm -hmm. we've gotten such acclaim, people have gone back and looked at my body of work oh. and discovered films that they had missed. Oh, oh good. so that's that's, been, that's that's been the blessing. The people going back mm -hmm. yeah. and look at films they missed. Twenty fifth Hour, yeah. Crooklyn, all, you know. How many have you done now? I forget. Yeah, that many. Ooh. That many. I gotta go to IMDb. <laughs> 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 Well, this is getting raves, and, and it's no wonder. So, yeah. yeah, it's a great movie. Black Klansmen by our sister company, Focus Features, hits theaters this Friday. Terrific movie, it right? It really is. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.